The West has tossed off biblical orthodoxy and called it a revolution. But it was in reality a revolt, or to be more precise, a rebellion. And the cost of this rebellion has been societal perversion and chaos. Things are bad, real bad. And we need a reformation. We as individuals, families, churches, and a broader society need to be reformed, reshaped by the truth of God. And reformation, of course, requires reformers, but a type of reformer. See, the reformer is neither a compromiser or a revolutionary. The compromiser has a can of paint. He just whitewashes the problems. The revolutionary has a can of gasoline. He just burns everything back to the ground. But the reformer has a toolbox. He knows that culture is always a fixer-upper. Reformers are pragmatic, but principled. Their practice flows from their theology. They recognize that both personal and corporate change, like all sanctification, is incremental. It takes time. And there's no better time than now to get to work.